In this video, I'm going to help you to get confident to go on camera and get you making those videos. I'm going to hopefully make you see it from a different perspective, as well as giving you tips on things that you can do that have really helped me to gain more confidence on camera when making my videos. Hi, I'm Elaine and welcome to my channel. And if you've not been here before, I give you information on what I've learned on my entrepreneurial journey and help you with shortcuts to get in your way you want to go that little bit faster. So firstly, we all start out exactly at the same place with our videos and you have to accept that, that your first few videos aren't going to be perfect. I don't really like the word perfect anyway because it's subjective. What's perfect for one isn't for another, so what's perfect anyway? But I didn't like my voice nor the way I looked on camera, so if you feel the same way, know that you're no different than any of us. Everyone starts out with that awkward cringe factor. For me, the main concern is that the content you're delivering is good and it's gonna help your viewer to move forward with a quick win. So focus on the content and don't think that you have to be video perfect. Just do the best that you can with what you've got at the time. When we start making videos, we're concerned about being judged. That's the crux of it and that affects our confidence. Judged by our family, friends, strangers on the internet, when the truth is nobody really cares. Anyone who's out there trying to win at life doesn't care about your imperfections. Only the judgmental nobodies that will never do anything anyway may have something to say and the very few that do, ignore them, block, delete, don't waste a moment more thinking about it. They're not on your journey. For me, I just focused on what I really wanted and that was to build a business that allows me the freedom that I have and I knew that video was the next step to get me there. I'd help clients with their videos, but me on the other side of the camera, no, that wasn't for me. But when I realized that video was gonna be the quickest way to build my list, my audience and my connections, then I knew that I had to get my big girl pants on and start doing videos. I visioned what I wanted and every day I took small steps in that right direction. I wanted to have a membership that helped people create video and get visible to grow their business. So this meant that I had to create content to promote, connect and help people to bring them into my world. If this sounds like something you're interested in, I'll leave a link to the Video Visibility Lab waitlist below and sign up, we'll notify you when the doors open. I held the vision of what I wanted in my mind and thought about this every time I felt like backing off from making videos. And I thought to myself, was I really going to let other people's opinions of me stop me from having what I wanted? No way. And when I got this in my head, yes, I felt uncomfortable. Yes, I felt resistance to do them. But it's a fact. When you feel like that, you have to do that very thing to grow. And as they say, everything you want is on the other side of fear. And when you look back at what you've overcome and achieved in any area of your life, you know that the journey is always a work in progress and you don't end up where you think you will from the start. But you do have to take the action to get the clarity and the confidence to do more. And this in turn creates more action, more clarity and confidence as you level up. So stop doubting yourself, realize that it's a journey that's gonna take time to get into the flow, but you will get there and you will find your own way. Remember when you were learning to drive and you were nervous, it took concentration, there was so much to think about. And now you've had the practice and the experience, it comes natural, you no longer feel like you did about it. You jump straight in the car, away you go, you can do it with your eyes shut, so to speak, but obviously not a good idea when driving. If this is resonating with you, hit the like and subscribe button. Your support is always appreciated. So here's 10 tips for you to help you feel confident to get on camera and hit that record button to start making your amazing videos. Number one, to get in the right frame of mind, do what you find helpful to get you pumped, such as going for a walk, playing loud music, singing, dancing, meditation, whatever. Sight yourself up, you're gonna create a great video Let's get the party started. Number two, hair done and a little makeup to make you feel more confident in your appearance. Keep it natural, don't obsess or take ages over it, just get the job done. Number three, wear comfortable clothing. Clothing that you would normally wear every day. You don't have to dress up fancy. I find that a solid color looks better on camera, but of course the choice is yours. Try it and as always, see what works for you. Number four, have a plan of what you're gonna say. It's up to you if you use a teleprompter or not. If you prefer an outline on a notepad, that's fine. Bullet points on a post-it note behind the camera. You may want to memorize your lines and shoot it in short clips. Whatever you decide, remember you can always edit it so you don't have to be word perfect. If you make a mistake, hold the pose and continue where you left off. Edit it later. Number five, sit or stand, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And when you get into position, start recording, but you don't have to be ready to start talking. 
take your time, roll your neck, shake your arms, shoulders, whatever you need to do, get yourself composed. Deep breath and then start to talk when you're ready. Number six, talk to the camera like you would a friend. Imagine that you're having a conversation with that one person and talk to them like you would as if they're in the room with you. Keep the energy up and like a natural conversation. Number seven, smile. You look a lot better when you have a smiley demeanor and rather than looking deadpan at the camera, not over the top, just in a way that looks natural and approachable. Number eight, if it feels easier, start by creating short form video for your stories or your reels. This can feel less intimidating at first because there's not the pressure to create a longer video and if you aren't entirely happy with it, your stories disappear after 24 hours. Quick tips with you on camera can be just the thing to get you started, it gets your confidence up and gets you started posting content out to the world. Number nine, practice, practice, practice. There's nothing better to strengthen your confidence muscle than experience. Practice is progress. We're always building our skills and it's all a work in progress journey. If it makes you feel better, practice every day for a week before you put your first video out. Number 10, be yourself. As with anything, when you're putting content out there, be yourself. Don't change to be what you think you should be. We want to attract the right people in, repel the ones that aren't a right fit. So choose to create content that you love and make your main goal to get your viewer motivated about it too. Remember that along our entrepreneurial journey, we grow and we get to the next level and then we go again. And there's nothing better than video to push to that next level. But until you start, you won't get the experience and you won't get the results that you want. I have a free download for you, 10 tips to filming like a pro with your smartphone, and this will help you to get started. The link is below, so grab that, get going with your videos and tag me in any stories or reels that you do at Go For It Girl Entrepreneur, because I love to see what you're creating. Don't overthink it. You have to go through that process. Hold that vision of what you want and eye on the prize. Have a look at these videos next that show you how I create my videos from start to finish, as well as first video ideas for you and what to say in them. So start where you're at, work with what you've got, because today somebody needs to hear your message. Don't keep it to yourself. Happy filming.